I finally got around to seeing Invincible. This show gained a lot of popularity being released on Amazon Prime Video back in March. And god, what did I experience? Before we continue with major spoilers for the show and comic, so you have been warned. Alright, so going to this show, I knew two things. Omni-Man is a horrible person, and that this show took gruesome to a new level. From the beginning, we were introduced to Mark, a regular awkward high schooler trying to not fail school and wants to find a girlfriend. He is the son of the strongest man on the planet, Omni-Man. We see Omni-Man as the protector of the Earth, and he and his family are part of the Global Defense Agency. This part of the show I feel was utilized greatly with the agency having the knowledge of all the superheroes and them trying to advance Earth's technology. However, the ending to the first episode set up for a great supervillain twist and kept me in suspense until the final episode. Omni-Man taking on the superhero team, 1v7-ing them was one of the most gruesome things I've ever seen animated. And sure, we didn't have much information on any of these characters, but it really set the stakes up knowing the protector of the world just murdered a bunch of superheroes on the first episode. And we didn't know why he murdered the superheroes until 7 episodes later. After 8 episodes of going through Mark's sad life, and his relationship with his friends, loved ones, and himself, made the ending of this show even worse for me. And when this scene happened, this also put everyone in disbelief. Omni-Man completely jacking up his son. Like, when that train was barging through Mark, I was like, okay, man. The part I thought was a little off for me was, why did he run off at the end? I know he went to his home world. Why didn't he expect the outcome of the humans? And we won't know until the next two seasons are made. But I'm pretty curious on how they approach this, because this season was relying on the fact that no one can defeat Omni-Man, other than it may be his son. So it'll be interesting how this goes, but an alien invasion? I am all for it. Other than the main story, the show had a few side stories, such as the robot turning into a human, or Mark's relationship with Amber, which I'll touch on in a minute. But I didn't really care for any of these. I guess more or less the robot one. It wasn't bad necessarily. It just, I, I just didn't see any interest in it. Similarly, I didn't like Amber. I understand her being upset over Mark for lying and not being a good boyfriend. But that's the price it pays for doing that job. But the part that lost me was after all the happening and her saying they're over, you know, they're not together anymore. She immediately shows affection towards him at the end. Like, where are your morals five seconds ago? I also did enjoy the comedy. A few bits I thought were eh, that wasn't really needed, but whenever they did the invincible card joke, those were timed perfectly and I always laughed. The final thing I want to say is the animation was really, really good. I haven't watched a superhero slash fighting show in a bit, but this one is up there for being one of the best. All the fight scenes were fantastic and had a lot of blood. Another example of a scene that was incredible was when Omni-Man was destroying one of the alien planets that attacked Earth. God, this scene looked beautiful. The perspective and action was all drawn up splendidly. It was definitely worth the watch. But other than that, that was all I want to say for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Invincible? Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in next week's video. Goodbye.